Years ago, when the idea of starting their own television network was still a gleam in the eyes of executives for the Cubs, one of them was asked if Tom Ricketts was worried his team could end up in a public relations mess like the Dodgers. The highly placed executive smiled and said the team would be happy to take big dollars even if the carriage fees were too high for some cable networks. The fallout wouldn't be the team's problem as long as the checks were clearing, he said in an unusual bit of candor. In other words, the revenue was worth the risk of games not being shown to a segment of fans. It took a while but cooler heads have prevailed. On the eve of the truncated 2020 season, the Cubs Marquee Sports Network, launched in a partnership with Sinclair Broadcast Group SBGI, has reached an agreement with Comcast CMC SA Xfinity, the largest provider in the Chicago market. Terms of the cost to Xfinity subscribers isn't known but the impact to fans is huge, as Xfinity accounts for about half of the Cubs' local market. The dispute between Sinclair and Comcast had kept Marquee off the cable lineup in those homes, creating anxiety that the Dodgers scenario would play out in Chicago. Shortly after the flagship Los Angeles team was sold to a group headed by Mark Walter and Guggenheim Baseball, it struck an $8.35 billion, 25-year deal with Time Warner Cable for exclusive television rights. The team believed the popularity of the team would force cable distributor in the market to carry Sportsnet LA but that didn't prove true. Dodgers telecasts remained unavailable to many fans for six seasons before an agreement on April 1 that gave DirecTV, U-verse and at TT subscribers access to Sportsnet LA for the first time. Terms of the agreement have not been released. But it probably won't mean the Cubs will be on DirecTV or Comcast Xfinity outside of the Chicago market. Games on Marquee will be available through subscriptions to Extra Innings or the MLB app. Cubs president for business Crane Kenny had expressed optimism about a possible deal during spring training in March. But it wasn't clear how the COVID-19 pandemic could impact those talks. Marquee launched as planned in late February but was available only to about 40% of Chicago homes, according to the Chicago Tribune. It hasn't carried any programming more immediate than recent intra-squad and exhibition games. Sinclair Broadcasting and the Cubs have not been able to line up a second major team for the network, in the way that the Yankees partner with the Brooklyn Nets and the Red Sox partner with the Boston Bruins. The Chicago Blackhawks were a logical target but their ownership remains loyal to White Sox chairman Jerry Reinsdorf, who as the Sox and Chicago Bulls owner control NBC Sports Chicago, the regional cable network the Cubs abandoned to create their own network. The Bulls and Blackhawks share the United Center.